Saltbush Bill on the Patriarchs by A. B. Banjo Patterson Read for LibriVox.org by Son of the Exiles Saltbush Bill on the Patriarchs Come all you little rouseabouts and climb upon my knee. Today, you see, is Christmas Day, and so it's up to me to give you some instruction like a kind of Christmas tale. So name your yarn and off she goes. What? Jonah and the whale. Well, whales is sheep I've never sure, I've never been to see. So all them great leviathans is mysteries to me. But there's a tale the Bible tells I fully understand. About the time the patriarchs were settling on the land. Those patriarchs of olden time, when all is said and done, they lived the same as far-out men on many a Queensland run. A lot of roving, droving men who drifted to and fro, the same we did out Queensland way a score of years ago. Now Isaac was a squatter man, and Jacob was his son. And when the boy grew up, you see, he wearied of the run. You know the way that boys grow up, there's some that stick at home. But any boy that's worth his salt will roll his swag and roam. So Jacob caught the roving fit and took the drover's track to where his uncle had a run beyond the outer back. You see, they made for outback runs for room to stretch and grow. The same we did out Queensland way a score of years ago. Now, Jacob knew the ways of stock. That's most uncommon clear. For when he got to Laban's run, they made him overseer. He didn't ask a pound a week, but bargained for his pay, to take the roan and strawberry calves, the same we'd take today. The duns and blacks and golden roans, that's brindles, coarse and hard, he branded them with Laban's brand in old man Laban's yard. So when he'd done the station work for close on seven year, why, all the choicest stock belonged to Laban's overseer. It's often so with overseers. I've seen the same thing done by many a Queensland overseer on many a Queensland run. But when the mustering time came on, old Laban acted straight and gave him country of his own outside the boundary gate. He gave him stock and offered him his daughter's hand in troth. And Jacob, first he married one, and then he married both. You see, they weren't particular about a wife or so. No more were we up Queensland way a score of years ago. But when the stock was strong and fat with grass and lots of rain, then Jacob felt the call to take the homeward road again. It's strange, in every creed and clime, no matter where you roam, there comes a day when every man would like to make for home. So off he set with sheep and goats, a mighty moving band, to battle down the homeward track along the overland. It's droving mixed up mobs like that that makes men cut their throats. I've travelled rams, which Lord forget, but never travelled goats. But Jacob knew the ways of stock for, so the story goes, when battling through the Philistines, selectors, I suppose, he thought he'd have to fight his way, an awkward sort of job. So what did old man Jacob do? Of course, he split the mob. He sent the strong stock on ahead to battle out the way. He couldn't hurry lambing ewes, no more you could today. And down the road from run to run, his hand against every hand, he moved that mighty mob of stock across the overland. The thing is made so clear and plain, so solid in and out. There isn't any room at all for any kind of doubt. It's just a plain, straightforward tale, a tale that lets you know the way they lived in Palestine 3,000 years ago. It's strange to read it all today, the shifting of the stock. You'd think you see the caravans that loaf behind the flock, the little donkeys and the mules, the sheep that slowly spread, and maybe Dan or Naphtali are riding on ahead. The long, dry, dusty summer days, the smouldering fires at night, 
the stir and bustle of the camp at break of morning light, the little kids that skipped about, the camel's dead slow tramp. I wish I'd done a week or two in old man Jacob's camp. But if I keep the narrow path some day, perhaps I'll know. How Jacob bred them strawberry calves three thousand years ago. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.